Is this Mario Kart 8 running on a Wii U emulator on the PC? Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to need a computer, and you're going to need either a keyboard and mouse, or your Xbox 360 USB controller, or any USB controller for that matter here. I recommend the Xbox 360 controllers, I find that they just work the best and the easiest. PlayStation controllers will work as well. Um, some of the Wii controllers, they're kind of iffy, some of them work, some of them don't work. It's just best to get an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation controller and wire it up with USB. You can also use an Xbox One controller if you want to. I just find that the Xbox 360 controllers, they're dirt cheap. You can find them for two for 20 or one for 10 bucks. And you can find them all over eBay, uh, USB. You can find ones that light up, ones that are black, white, yellow, red, pink, blue, does not matter as long as you have your wired controller. You can even get wireless ones that work as well. They come with receivers. So you're going to need your controller and you're going to need to download Simu. Simu is our Wii U emulator of choice here. CEMU.info. There will be a link in the description below. And you're just going to click download and you're going to download uh, the latest version here. Once you have Simu downloaded you will get a folder here or a zip file you're gonna go ahead and extract that and you'll get your folder here of Simu. this folder here you'll notice it's a program installation folder has all the files you will need for Simu. first thing you're going to do is run Simu, and we're gonna close it out it's going to create a keys text file here for us this keys folder here has all the decryption keys for the various games that we're going to be playing on our Wii U emulator. Now, these decryption keys you can find online. Uh, you can find them on this website here. Uh, there may or may not be a link to the, uh, in the description below for this website here. And this website has all the keys you will ever need uh, for your Wii U emulator. So you're just going to copy and paste those keys in here. These are the decryption keys, which is the handshake that tells the game that yes, you own the game, yes, you can play this Wii U game on your quote-unquote Wii U, which is really a PC. You're going to need your Wii U common key along with whichever key for the game you're going to be playing. In this case, we're going to be playing Mario Kart 8, just as that's the game that I have. And you'll also need to download your games. Your games will need to be a WUX file. You can also use load IINE or load INE. You can use those games as well on the Wii U emulator here. But WD, WUD files you will need to convert to a WUX. These files will be able to be played on Simu. I will not show you guys where you can get your Wii U games, uh, though you will have to own a physical copy to emulate. So, once we have our games, our controller, and Simu, we're going to go ahead and set up Simu. We're going to go ahead and load it up here. And we'll go to Options. Full screen if you want to play it in full screen mode. If not, you're going to be in a window. Uh, the window here runs at 720p on most computers that I've seen. Audio settings, we're going to go ahead and turn that up. I'm going to keep mine down for now, but I suggest you turn it up and I'd keep it up pretty high because the audio is low. Input settings, you're going to download a file in the description below. So for our controller settings here, you're going to press import, you're going to download my controller config right here in the description below, and you're going to go ahead and open that config file. And this will work if you have an Xbox 360 controller, and it will go ahead and configure your controller for you. If you have a PlayStation 3 controller or any other controller, you'll need to configure that on your own. You can have more than one controller here. You can have up to eight controllers to do split screen multiplayer. You can't do multiplayer online, but you can do split screen. So you go ahead and press save, and you can close that out. Graphic packs. 
Uh, this will upscale your graphics to 1080p HD or 4K and you just want to enable it on the games that are supported here. So I'd pick the one for Mario Kart 8 at 1080p HD and you can go ahead and exit that out. Console region set that to auto, language set this to your language. CPU will leave this alone, though if you're having some lag, you can go ahead and change these settings here. The rest of the settings in here will leave alone, as the defaults work the best. To go ahead and play your Wii U games, you'll press load here, and we'll go to our games folder that we made. And we'll just choose our WUX, or our Lodine files here, and we'll go ahead and load up Mario Kart 8 for example. I'm not going to load that up as I do not want to get a copyright claim on this video from Nintendo. Though you will need to get your games uh, once again in a WUX or WUD file or a Lodine file. There are tutorials elsewhere on how you can get your games. I'm not going to go into detail as depending on where you're at copyright law can be different. Uh, so for where I'm at you have to own a physical copy in order to emulate. That's how you play the Wii U uh, and any Wii U game that you can emulate on your PC here. I'm playing Mario Kart 8 and I absolutely love the Wii U emulator. It will lag at times, keep in mind this is an emulator and it is in beta. They are still working on this so you may not get 60 frames a second plus on your computer. There have been times where on your games you will get 10 frames a second or 5 frames a second. The best bet is to keep playing the games and build your cache files that way so there is less lag in the future and the developers can develop this emulator more and more. They're working on stability first, once they get stability down then they will work on advanced graphics and keeping it lag free and everything. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope it helped you out to play uh, Wii U games and that's about it guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time guys, I will see you later.